Next, very important topic is assertions. So far we have been asserting only text, which is good, but Playwright offers you much more. It has a complete assertion library containing many options. I'm gonna give you more common examples and also show you where to find more, so you can explore it yourself while practicing or doing your own automated testing projects. So let's create one more test and let's give it a description, for example, assertions. And for this purpose of assertions, let's use this example.com website. So let's grab the URL and let's load it. So we want to use evade page.go to and paste the URL. And here we have two simple options and we can assert the URL and we can assert the page title. So the first example is evade expect. And now you want to target the page directly and you want to go to have URL. And of course we want to paste the URL because we want them to match. This is especially good when you are uh, asserting some you know, redirect, etc. You can just click on some redirect and then you can assert that the page contains the new URL. But in this case, we are not redirecting somewhere, so let's just assert that we are on the correct page. The second is with title. So same await expect page to have, as you can see, title. And what's the title? Let's inspect it. So let's inspect the website. Let's go to the head. And you can see the title is example domain. So let's grab it and let's paste it here. And that's it. These two are the common assertions when working with specific pages. And now let's take a look on some element assertions. So I'm gonna create an element. So I need to call locator again. And let's use the h1 and let's take a look. If you inspect this example domain, you can actually see its h1 element. So we will be working with this big text example domain. And first typical assertion you can use is to check whether the element is visible. So again, you go expect. And in this case, you'll target the element, which we have just created here. And the assertion is to be visible. And this assertion makes sure that the H1 element is correctly displayed on the screen. Next, we can specify the text. Uh, we have already been working with text, but we've been using to contain which only asserts if the text contains somewhere in the text your message. But you can do even more strict assertion to check whether the texts are 100% matching. In this case, use expect element to have text instead of contain to have. And the text is example domain. So next, we can also assert the count. So we can actually assert how many H1 selectors are displayed on the page. And for that, we can do expect element to have count. And in this case, it's one and it should be passed as a number, not a string, like this. And also, I can show you one little thing and you can also assert that some element don't exist or is not visible on the page. So let's create a variable with some non-existing element. So for example, create variable non-existing element and let's call await page.locator 
and let's use for example h5 because we know there is no h5 on the example web page so now i can call await expect non-existing element and here i'm going to not to be visible and this assertion is opposite of to be visible so you want to make sure that there is no element of h5 visible on the web page and also there is basically pretty much a lot of more assertions so if you just expect and take an element and you type dot you can see that the playwright will autocomplete us with all the assertion functions which can be used in your test as you can see you can assert to have css class id javascript properties as there is so many options which you can choose so i recommend you to try it on your own you know play a little bit with some websites try to explore the assertions and use them on your own but the concept is always the same you just await and expect some element and then you call the assertion and remember to work with expect your element need to be stored in variable using page.locator like this. So let me just delete that and save it. And the last step is to actually run our tests to make sure we don't have any mistakes. So let's open terminal, npx playwright test. Now you can see it's running four tests already. And all four tests are passing so that's all right and that was assertions and in the next video i'm gonna take a look at annotations